We're here from the Carrier Dome freshman Brandon Trish. He added a career best 21 points to lead Syracuse in their win over the Big Red before leaving the court to a standing ovation. You know, that was great. You know, um, it's, it's a great feeling, you know, uh, just to uh, do great, you know, get a win. He stepped up a lot. He, just, he wasn't Brandon tonight, I, I guess. He really wasn't a freshman at all. He's telling me he's not a freshman. He's played like that. And Brandon had a, a tremendous game, and there's more to come from Brandon. A strong kid, strong minded. He's going to do a lot of great things here at Syracuse. And I just said, y'all just caught a, a glimpse of what Brandon Trish can do. I mean, he's going to do a lot of more, a lot of games like that to come from him. The win makes it 32 in a row for Syracuse against Cornell. And now we welcome in WAER's Andrew Algreta, who was on the call for this one. And Andrew, Talk about Brandon Trish in this game. I mean, talk about a coming out party. How fun was it to watch this freshman, too? Jim Beheim knows he can play games like this. He said it afterwards. I wasn't surprised. That's his quote. He said he was not surprised. And going forward, I guess we shouldn't be surprised. He's got great sides for the college game. 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, big, big, college-ready body. Uses that to get inside to go up against the forwards. Got good buckets in there. Got to the hole. Finished. He is has potential to be a real complete player. And then we saw him shoot a three-pointer out there, too. Uh, a guy that isn't known so far as a three-point shooter. If he's going to hit those, he, he's outstanding. And, Andrew, you had fellow guard Scoop Jardine singing his praises after the game, saying that the, the sky is the limit for a guy like Brandon. How good do you think he can be this year, or is this the top? Uh, this, well, I mean, 21 is great. Uh, maybe he'll have one or two more games where he hits the 20-point plateau. Just remember, this is a team for Syracuse. You never know who's going to have the big game. It could be Wes Johnson. It could be Andy Routens. It could be the front court with AO and Rick Jackson. So 20 points on a team atmosphere is very good when you know they're going to circulate the scoring. But I'm sure we'll see another 20-point performance from, from Brandon Trish. Now moving forward, obviously the team looking ahead to that December date with Florida. But still a couple of a good home games coming up. you got Columbia coming into the Dome and Colgate. Do you really see any way that any of these next four games could be a, a trap game for Syracuse. No, I really don't because if there was one, it was tonight against Cornell coming off of Cal and UNC riding high from those games and you have an NCAA tournament team in Cornell coming in here with all their seniors back. This was the trap game and they performed very well in the second half. I really, really expect them to go ahead into Florida and be undefeated at that point. Columbia, Colgate, as far as mid-majors and even less than that goes, they're not nearly the same level that Cornell is, and Syracuse still did a very good job against a good Cornell Big Red team. All right, thanks, Andrew. And now we send it back to the Citrus TV studios with David and Amy. Thanks very much, Scott, and thanks to Holy Shirt. Because of then, Citrus TV sends a reporter to every game, both home and away. Holy Shirt, custom printed and embroidered clothing for your group, team, or business. Again, that's Holy Shirt.